Well, today I went to the Blue Heron Bridge and tested out my scuba gear. And just to get an idea, it's on in West Palm Beach. And if we scroll it up, we'll take a look exactly where it is if you're ever going to look for it. It is right there. The Blue Heron Boulevard. And when you go driving over that bridge, you could actually look down and you could see all the people snorkeling. And uh, the dive shop is over in this area over here. And we went to the dive shop and they rent like little wetsuits and snorkel uh, stuff like that. And they'll fill your tanks if you got them. But I haven't scuba dived the ocean a long time. And it's only 12 feet deep was the deepest I was. So you just walk off the bridge and then you could go over into here. And they got like little sunken bolts and blocks and everything they put down for divers. But it's a great uh, place to check your gear to see if it works. And I haven't done ocean in a long time. So it's a real nice park and they got the bathrooms and everything and parking. And a lot of people enjoy it. And I think it's a real nice thing. And you have to do it at the high tides. And uh, explains more later. We went on February 23rd. High tide was 1030. And you want to get it right at the tide. That's when the best diving is and the best snorkeling. At least that's what they tell me. Well, you come okay, to, this I is where we're, we're, we're going uh, before we go snorkeling and diving. Yeah, I don't know. That's the inside. Now that's the way we came in. They got a big parking lot. We're going to be walking right over here to the bridge. Make sure you have a diving tonight. And that's it. Stay within around the buoys.
So that was it. There was plenty of parking and just go underneath the bridge and you had shade from the bridge. You just bring some lounge chairs. You could spend all day there if you want. Uh, there was no problem. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that you uh, get to go yourself sometime and test out your gear. And there was guys there that was actually older than me. And I was wondering if I could do it. And when I seen them do it, it kind of encouraged me. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll see you next video.